Alright, what's going on everyone? So, I'm back again today, this time talking about Taskmaster. So, Taskmaster is someone I wanted to cover for a long time. I had to wait for a dupe. I actually used the uh, Generic Awakening Gem on him and synced him up. Um, he's a really good champion in my opinion. Um, really high um, really high skill cap. You need to really learn how to play him. And today I'm going to try and break him down a lot simpler so that everyone can hopefully become at least a little bit better at using him. Because uh, he's a definitely unique um, champion. Because he might not be the best at doing everything, but he does just a little bit of everything. And with a really high SIG level, I think he can do a lot more. So, uh, so as always, start with attributes. Nothing special here. Uh, pointing up block efficiency, 64%. Um, that is with my mastery is increasing block efficiency, but that's still um, as good as Cap World War II and Cap OG as well. So he can be used similar to them for just block a lot of uh, special attacks and anything like that. Um, synergies, I'm actually going to skip over because they are all based around his abilities, which I want to explain. Not by explaining these paragraphs of text that are very daunting to look at, but instead by breaking down his abilities myself into four main categories. So, blocking, ability accuracy reduction, debuffs, and his exploit weakness, or uh, EXW, as I abbreviate it in this document. And this document will be available in the description if you want to read it. So, uh, just some general stuff. The blue is stuff he gains from his SIG ability. You can see his SIG ability is very long. Um, and the red X's are percents I didn't want to put in because um, there are some like these are based around um, just power level, like my 550. Um, this, is, this is like 157 um, per debuff for my 550. Um, Stuff like this, though, is based around SIG level, so I didn't want to put those in and have it be inaccurate to other Taskmasters. So, all right, so first things first, um, as I pointed out before, I do want to keep pointing out blocking because not only does he have the base 64% block efficiency, but uh, in his photogenic refluxes passive, all of these bolds are where you can find uh, this text. I, I tried to rewrite it to make it a little simpler, but so this is written under the photogenic reflexes, photographic reflexes uh, text in its description. So he gains a plus 10% perfect block chance per enemy unique attack. So these are the, this is the enemy unique attack is what I talked about yesterday with Ghost Rider. So how Ghost Rider can get six judgments with his light, medium, uh, heavy, and all three specials. Uh, Taskmaster can increase his perfect block chance for each of these unique attacks. And that's a 50% chance despite having six unique attacks. And that's similar to this um, offense ability, 50% chance. Because if you're struck by an SP3, you lose both this and this ability. So that's why it's only a 50% chance, whereas this one is a 60% chance. So, so that's uh, blocking, uh, very good to have a 50% block chance plus 65% proficiency plus whatever um, um, masteries you have you can be blocking as much if not even more than cap like than cap can so. Alright, uh, ability accuracy reduction this is a really big one and most of it comes from his dupe ability so. Uh, so enemy unique attacks reduce their offensive ability accuracy by 10%. Uh, offensive ability accuracy is stuff like placing a bleed on you when they hit you. Um, it's not auto block. Um, so that's that's why I have that underlined there. And each of his unique attacks, max 6 unique attacks, again, reduce the enemy of defensive ability accuracy by 10%. So that is a 60% reduction if you've used all your specials. Call it around a 50% because often you're not going to be using your SP3 with him. 
So this can be really good, especially if you use the concussions. So each concussion reduces the general, so that's both offensive, defensive, ability accuracy by X percent. Uh, my Taskmaster at level at a SIG level 54 is a 9.35%. So that's not too much since it does take a little bit to, um, to place this concussion as you'll see later on. Um, but it is necessary. Um, and basically what you do with that one is, unlike others, you stack those concussions um, up to five and you create a passive concussion. So it's the same percentage, the nine times five, so it's 46.74%. 40, so that combined with the 50% that you have, because by the time you reach the five concussions, you'll most likely have done five unique attacks, it's a 100% ability accuracy reduction. So there it is. There's why Taskmaster is good. Because you can get a hundred percent ability accuracy reduction. All right. So the way you place these concussions is, as it says here, the exploit weakness. And actually, I will skip right over debuffs for the time being, just to explain exploit weakness, because I think it'll be a lot easier to do so. So, in the exploit weakness, when your opponent strikes you're going to have, um, when exploit weakness is off cooldown, you have 10 seconds to strike the opponent with the same attack. And what this does is it deals the direct damage for my 550, it's 900 direct damage, and it will inflict the concussion with the dupe. So again, blue text means dupe, and that's coming back up to here, so that concussion will reduce ability accuracy by 9%. So the attacks triggering the exploit weakness XDXW doesn't don't trigger evade or auto block. Um, it then goes on cooldown for five seconds, after which you'll get a new attack, which you can then trigger. However, what you can do is you can use the heavy attack to immediately reset the cooldown of the exploit weakness. In addition to the fact that when you're using that heavy attack, if you use it immediately after exploiting weakness, you will avoid any incoming attacks. It's similar to being invisible as the hood. And this is really good for chaining a bunch of them, which is how you get up to five, since these do not last very long at all. Um, they last about... It's increased by four seconds in the SIG ability, um, 3.6, and it has a general um, duration of six seconds. So you have 9 seconds to stack 5 of them. And then you'll get a 15 seconds of 100% ability accuracy reduction. So it is it's quite difficult to do so. Um, that 15 seconds actually becomes closer to 19. Or, but still, it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of skill to do so. Um, so just before we get into gameplay, we'll actually show you what's going on. Let's talk about debuffs. So the passive concussion, that's the five concussion, um, counts as five debuffs. So Taskmaster specials all increase damage based on um, how many debuffs you've inflicted during the fight. So if you can get that five, that's a very big increase. Uh, to his bleed damage or his uh, armor break um, impact. Uh, each debuff on Taskmaster reduces the future potency by 10%, so if you get bleed for 100, uh, next time that same bleed is hit, you're going to be dealing 9. And this is only per fight. This isn't a... Uh, it's not going to last every fight where he's going to be immune to debuffs. And when, he be, when the potency reaches 100%, he becomes completely immune to debuffs. This is even if you were to, say, get 10... Um, if you're hitting into Cap, World, Cap Originals uh, block, you get 10 of the um, uh, crit rate reducer, 
debuffs, you're going to become stun, stun immune. You're going to become bleed immune. And that's extremely um, powerful, but not always necessary. But it's still something you need to keep on. And then all of his specials fall under his debuffs, like I talked about. Uh, SV1 bleed, SV2 armor break, and then SV3 just has a general increased damage. And then all three have an increased attack for each debuff active on either champion at that moment. So now, because now comes the part where I have to explain him while using him. So let's see what I can do here. I have him alone in a fight because I'll go over his synergies after this. Um, but they make him extreme. They make him a lot more powerful, and they kind of give you a false sense of. Uh, False sense of badassery because you can do a lot more with them, but you're not all you're never going to have Taskmaster and his and his Force Energy partners, just because his Force Energy partners are also all skill champions. So right, first thing first, you can see that cooldown timer running. I just guess I'll just let it run, and it's a heavy. So what I need to do here is heavy. You can see the invisible timer, and he's got the first concussion. Next, I need to do a light attack. Invisible, he missed his attack, I need to do another light. Three concussions. I need to do another light. And I messed up. Okay, that's my bad. I am resetting the duration, I need to do a medium here. And there. So my exploit weakness timer is now zero. So I could, in theory, if I use the SP1, every single hit of it would be cut would be causing that 900 damage per second. So let's see what I can do here. I got to an SP1. I doubt it. Nope. He's playing very passive. Let's use the heavy to reset the durate, reset the cooldown, light attack. Now he only avoids any basic incoming attacks, he won't avoid, if it were, say, a um, SP2 I'm about to get smacked with. So I need, I need him to hit me something else, because I don't want to come off with needing an SP1 when I don't have it. I'm using the SP1 a lot more than I should be. Um, I have saved up 10 debuffs, so this is increased attack. Um, you can see I'm doing 400 bleed per second. Let's get up to SP1 if I can. I don't think I will. Maybe. Oh, here you go. Boom. So nine. So you saw that was 2,600 immediate for every single hit. That's a lot more immediate damage. I guess I can use this one. I'll see this. So that's one thing you can do only against Winter Soldier. And you have to get very lucky. Light attack. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright. He's going to need an SP1 here. That's a shame. So you can see just how much it takes to um, get each concu each um, concussion. The SP3 is triggering that SP1. Let's see if I go to this. He's going to need an SP1 though, or SP2. So I'm just going to reset the duration there. I'm not going to get off the SP2. I'm going to need an SP1 in a second here. Yeah, I want, to, I want to attack me again. Sometimes you do have to control their attacks to make sure you're getting what you want. Again, I want to attack me again. That's gonna be light. I 
this may work out in my favor. Yep. I have been struck by a special attack, so I'm not getting that full block efficiency that I'd like to. 2,800, tw I had every single one of those hits to 2,800. Extra damage on top of what I was already doing. That's the immediate damage Taskmaster could do. Uh, on top of the 100% ability accuracy reduction. And that's what makes him, in my opinion, fantastic. Alright, so like I said, I'm just going to go over synergies real quick. Um, all of his synergy partners are skill, so they're not really something you're going to be using in a normal questing uh, lineup. Um, Hawkeye is very good, though. Uh, Winter Soldier, Moon Knight, Crossbow is not as much. but So, a synergy with Hawkeye on his current exploit weakness. If his current exploit weakness is a special, all of his special attacks become blockable. Not too great. Um, the best thing to use it for is... Say if you have the SP2 um, as your current exploit weakness, you can use your SP1 uh, and get some extra bleed off. Um, now this is an actual actually good one uh, with Winter Soldier. Uh, his current exploit weakness uh, target attack has a 20% chance to become unblockable. So you can basically punch their shields, um, get that um, hit in, and um, then go from there with the extra damage. So you don't really need to bait them into attack or anything like that. Um, Moon Knight, 30% chance to evade against current life flow weakness. I'm not a fan of stuff like this. Uh, it just means it's going to mess up your parries uh, and your combos. Um, and then instantly gain 5% of max power. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, every time you a weakness, which happens quite often. But that just means you're going to be getting to your SP3 even more often. So. Alright, um... So, like I said, this is the this is the document that's going to be available. Um, I switched the order of exploit weakness with debuff just because that's the order. It makes more sense to talk about that order. Um, but hopefully, you found you find this document helpful and this video helpful. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I am just learning Taskmaster myself. Like I said, I used the Waking Gem on him, but I really tried to follow his character as much as possible because I think he's a fantastic option. High block proficiency, high um, high ability accuracy reduction when you play them right. So, hopefully you agree. Hopefully you enjoy this, and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.